started a charity, the Zoe Foundation, named after uh, your beautiful 18-year-old uh, daughter. Tell us about that. Yeah, so I, um, kind of during this whole experience, so Zoe was two, um, and I started painting during chemotherapy. So you'd be sitting there for kind of four to eight hours, <clears throat> attached to all these things, and monitoring everything about what's going on with you, and people around you are super sick. Um, and I remember just saying to my husband, it's like, what are we gonna do here all day? You know, for four to eight hours, mm -hmm. it's like, because you can't really walk around right. or anything like that. And so this art student volunteer kind of wheeled this art cart by, and I'm like, how do I sign up for this? So I, the nurse came over, and so I started painting with this wonderful woman named Diane um, every single time I went to chemotherapy. So I went every other week for like eight times, and I would just start painting with mm -hmm. her. And when I finished chemotherapy, I you know, by the end of it, I was actually quite sick. But I remember saying to my husband, it's like, we're gonna replicate this whole thing that I've done. Wow. It was just the coolest thing on the planet. I would look forward to going there, which was crazy. And it was a fun outlet. So I bought a, the book, How to Set Up a Foundation <laughs> for Dummies. So I bought that book. And then we just founded the Zoe Foundation shortly thereafter. And the whole purpose is to fund art programs for cancer patients, which is exactly what I did. And I can only imagine how many people that that, that impacted. Um, yeah, so, we've helped a lot of people. Oh, uh, I bet.